Nobody said it would be easy series of tag team matches tonight, we see kind of common enemies come Your together. Your contest at Common Enemies is a tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing the participants first, from Daytona Beach, Florida, the Cowabunga Kid, Adam Green! Adam Green said for tag team action, the Cowabunga kid, the young rookie who we've seen the last few weeks a little bit involved with Pauly P and the rest of Mikey B's. So coming off a, a big victory for him last week, a controversial victory for Adam Green, but well, a victory you. nonetheless. But Adam Green sets the team up with another rookie who's been making a name for himself here in recent weeks, Titan Yen. That Titan Yen, it's been impressive every time we've gotten to see him as well. I could see these two being quite the successful tag team. Let's see how this goes. A couple of very athletic young men here on the MPX roster. Again, one week from tonight at the Epic in Grand Prairie, we bring you the Purge. Anything else, we're gonna be talking about the Purge all night. If you don't have your tickets yet, you better hurry, because it's gonna be standing room only, mpxwrestling.com, and we will see you there. And his tag team partner from Cruz Bay, Oregon, the all-balanced Titan! Yeah, you know, this is just the first of a night of all tag team matches coming your way, and we're going to see some strange combinations, some strange oppositions as we get ready for the purge again seven days from tonight. And I was kind of scratching my head a little bit earlier this week as some of the matches were announced online as we're seeing some guys team together who we don't normally get to see, including in our main event tonight, Tata Manning, the former Addicts champion. He's gonna team with one half of the scoring Gabe Wilder as they take on the new Addicts champion, Mikey B, and one half of the tag team champions, Aaron Eagle. Well, now you're looking at a, a combination that they're not strangers to each other. You're looking at House Sagan. Of course, Isaac Mazur over there on the left, leading in Red Chambers and Dave Sagan who are getting themselves ready for a street fight next week, taking on Mr. Legs and his partner, Dave DeVille. Uh, well, no, that's Mr. Legs and Mr. Arms. Yeah, Dave Mr. DeVille Arms, not no okay. Around. I mean, seriously, it's Mr. Arms. Uh, I'm sure that it is. Don't know what you're talking about. 
but that will be an exit zone. I hope Dave Sagan and Red Tabers aren't looking at Adam Green and Titan Yen as a bit of a warm-up. I've been very impressed by both Green and Yen in recent weeks. And their opponents, accompanied to the ring by Isaac Mazur, claiming a residence at Whitehaven Beach on Whitsunday Island in Queensland, Australia. The team of the son of Sagan, Red Chambers, Dave Sagan, House Sagan! You know, it can be very easy when you're one week away from a major show, a big time match like how sick it is to look past a team of, of rookies here like Titan Yen and Adam Green, but I think Dave Sagan and Red Chambers, they are fully focused on the mission at hand here tonight. I do want to mention, it does seem like every week Dave Sagan changes residences. He's always announced from somewhere different. Know, he's like got residents all around the world. Usually people that move around like that, they're hiding some, from some sort of authority. Well, he's, giving, he's giving everybody worldwide the chance to step into the sun. Isaac Mazur trying to shake the hand of Carl Knight. Not something many people have tried to do. Yeah, that, I think that's a first. Mazur outside, stepping outside of the rain. It looks like it's going to be Red Chambers and Titan Yen kicking things off here. And again, there aren't really any uncommon enemies in this match, but you said it earlier, Tyler. We're going to see some very unique matchups. I mentioned the team of Gabe and Tatum Manning taking on Mikey B and Aaron Eagle. We're also going to see a little bit later on Brixton and Sean Kaimi taking on the newly reformed team of Dimitri Alexander and Sky De La Cremosa. I haven't seen them team together in quite some time here in MPX. And always crowd favors their excessive violence. Dimitri Alexandrov, Sky De La Cremosa teaming up again tonight. And, you know, you talk about Gabe Wilder in the main event. His brother and sister are teaming together earlier in the night as well. That's right, but one of the teams I'm actually looking forward to, MPX champion, the Tommy Becker, teaming up with JoJo. How do you think uh, that's that, going to go? That is going to be a very interesting duo, I believe. Of course, they'll be taking on a duo very familiar with one another, Corey Wright and Demo Diamond. A second, is he inviting Adam Green to step into the sun? He is. All you got to do is take his hand. He's extended it to Adam Green. Look, I know Adam Green is still very new to this business, but I got to believe this kid is smarter than that. And it looks like he is. Not everyone is as naive as Red Chambers. Well, I wouldn't call Red Chambers naive. I mean, look, look what's look what's happened to Chambers since he has joined House Sagan. How much better just his aura is every time you're around Red Chambers now. He's not that he's not that depressed Red Chambers of old that we were seeing for the last year. So a brand new, invigorated Red Chambers now that he's following Dave Sagan. And you hear the addicts getting really behind Adam Green here in the early moments. Nice shoulder tackle from Dave Sagan. Adam Green back to his feet. They're having to regroup a little bit. The collar and elbow tie up. Adam Green will take control of former Grand Slam champion here at MPX and Dave Sagan. Well, and you mentioned how impressive Adam Green was in the victory. You called it controversial. I do not think controversial whatsoever when he was against Paul E.P. last week. Uh, oh, another shoulder tackle out of the corner. There were some, some outside elements at play in that one, I believe. Again, Sagan extending the hand to Adam Green. Again, Adam Green definitely not taking it. Go behind into the waist lock on Sagan. Nice takedown by Sagan into the front face lock. And Green getting back to his feet. Nice reversal. Control of Sagan's wrist. And you see a smart part there on the part of Green. He was standing between Sagan and Chambers, keeping him separated from his corner. This Adam Green tried to shoot Sagan off the ropes and does. Leapfrog from Green. Oh, shoulder tackle. Green zone. And Green giving back to Sagan when he was dishing out earlier. Adam Green looking a lot better than he did when we saw him get beat up in the back of that truck last week. He's learning quick. If you want to align yourself with Tatum Manning, you're going to take some punishment like he did from Mikey B and his band last week. 
Red Chambers getting tagged in the first time. Oh, he thinks Green's going to shake his hand. So he didn't shake Sagan's, but he'll shake Chambers, right? But Isaac Mazur's up on the apron now. Maybe he'd shake Isaac Mazur's hand. And why doesn't Carl Knight get Isaac Mazur off the apron? Well, he's not doing anything. Nice arm drag from Green. Hip toss takes Chambers off his feet. Because Adam Green staying in control here. Sending Chambers over to his side of the ring. Splash in the corner. There's the tag to Titan Yen. Can you see what Titan Yen can do here against Red Chambers tonight? And the little sample size we've seen of Titan Yen in the past. He's a very explosive athlete. And now Chambers and Yen working together. Sprayboard moonsault. Yen with a cover. There's some nice cohesiveness there from this, as far as I know, first time tag team of Titan Yen and Adam Green. Hey, what, what could this mean to these two youngsters if they can knock off House Sagan here tonight? Oh, and that kick to the back right in front of the ref. And now Chambers follows up with the clothesline. And you better believe somewhere in this building night, Mr. Legs, Mr. Arms, they have to be watching on. Scouting their opponents for the purge. Shout out Dave Sagan back in this one and see how quickly the tide has turned back into the favor of House Sagan. Dave with that big kick into the ribs of Titan Yen. And the Addicts getting behind Titan now. Of course, Sagan has a ton of experience over both Yen and Green. You mentioned all the accomplishments of Dave Sagan. I could run through them again if you'd like. That but won't be necessary. Texas Rumble winner as well. I didn't throw that in earlier. And now Yen fighting back out of the corner. Chambers that fisherman suplex with the bridge too. Yeah, Titan Yen, I mean, lucky to kick out of that. Chambers not able to keep the fingers hooked there on that fisherman suplex. But Red Chambers immediately right back on Titan Yen. Adam Green trying to encourage his partner. As Titan Yen, well, he broke the grip of Red Chambers, but Chambers yeah, two pulled him right back down. Lateral press. But Chambers with the knee into the midsection of Titan Yen, following it up with a headbutt. And I gotta believe that Chambers and Sagan probably came in here tonight, at least in my opinion, thinking they were gonna have a, a cakewalk, if you will, against Adam Green and Titan Yen here tonight. That has not been the case. I mean, you look at it on paper, and that's, that's kind of what I would have expected as well, but yeah, Adam Green and Titan Yen, they're putting up a fight. That's for sure. They're not making this easy for House Sagan one week from that big street fight that they have with Mr. Legs and Mr. Arms. And Sagan with that kick right to the back of Yen's head. And now focusing on Green. Eric Sagan maybe reminding Adam Green what a mistake it is that he did not take the hand of Dave Sagan earlier. He could be stepping into the I, sun right now. I don't think Adam Adam Green's rethinking that decision whatsoever. As Sagan with that rear trend lock keeping Yen grounded. Now Yen charges in. Up and over looking for the sunset flip. Sagan will go down instead, shoulders down of Yin. Nice bridge out, and that kick right to the side of Sagan's head. But Sagan, I think he lost Titan Yin there, had no clue where he was until Yen he connected about, with that kick. Well, Yin thought about going for the cover instead, decided to tag in Green, who was right behind him. Oh, no, he made the tag. Oh, looks like referee Carl Knight, I guess he didn't see the tag. He's, try, he's getting, sending Adam Green back out to the apron. Well, now Titan Yin, still the legal man, according to referee Carl Knight, and Sagan with the backbreaker. It's Sagan trying to break Titan Yin in half. There across his knee, elbow, right down into the chest. Sagan's 
Sagan trying to mock the addicts here in attendance. We've got a great crowd here tonight, the MPX Event Center. I know all of these addicts are going to be with us next week at the Epic in Grand Prairie as well. The question is, will Sagan and Chambers go in 100% after this match? I mean, they're having a tougher time, like I said, with the Inn and Green than they thought they would. Uh, Red Chambers looks like he was ready to put Titan Yen away, but Titan showing he's still got plenty of fight in him. Uh, Chambers going to the arm. They're trying to punish Titan Yen a little bit more to see how much how much pain this young man could take is how long he can handle it. And Yen fighting back, those swift kicks. Oh, Chambers might be looking for the TKO. Can he get it? No, Yen on his feet. Oh, and a super kick from behind, catching Chambers right in the temple. And can Yen make the tag again? Yes, Green is in. Close line to Chambers. Adam Green now going to work on an already stunned Red Chambers following that kick. And the Cowabunga Kid going to work now. And well, here comes Sagan. There was no tag. Get him out, ref. And a bicycle kick. Rock Sagan sent him to the outside. Mazer up on the apron. Well, Sagan goes to the floor. That gets Give one to him as well. Isaac Mazer up. Why would, you, why would you kick him? What has he done? He's up on the apron. That's what he's doing. Oh, wait a second. Chambers looking to take advantage. Look at that TKO. No. Green back on his feet. Belly to back suplex on Chambers. The big opportunity here for Adam Green and Titan Yen. They've got Chambers by himself. Dave Sagan is still down on the floor out here. See if they can capitalize here on this opening. Titan Yen tags back in. Now Yen up top. Huge cross body on Chambers. Oh, look, look, look at, at Green. Adam Green's up top now. Frog splash from Green. Are they going to get the ups over House Sagan? Two. No. Oh. Dave Sagan right there to break it up. And the last possible second, Dave Sagan slides in there and makes the save for Red Chambers. And Sagan, Sagan followed Adam Green out to the floor. Oh, and Sagan sitting Green head first into the ring post. And while back in the ring, Yen running Chambers up to his feet. With a jawbreaker from Red Chambers. Oh, Chambers, I mean, like a package pile driver, yes! Driving the head of Yen into the mat. Oh, Dave Sagan wants the tag. Dave Sagan going Dave for the Sagan cover. Going in, hooks the leg. That's a win for House Sagan. Here are your winners, Red Chambers, Dave Sagan, House Sagan! Sagan picking up the scraps after that package pile driver from Red Chambers. But Dave Sagan, he did neutralize Adam Green. Make sure there was not going to be a pinfall breakup out there. But the, and, oh, uh, it is, now, now what? That's the music of Mr. Legs, one of the opponents for House Sagan next week. Well, unfortunately, I recognize the music. Oh, Mr. Arms is with him. Uh. Ricky right arm, Larry left arm. I don't know what it, oh, oh, we're gonna hear from Mr. Legs. Five weeks ago in that very ring, Dave, you wrapped a chair around Lenny left leg and snapped him in two. Now while we can still remember that sound, since then, with the moral support of Randy right leg, Lenny left leg has been training hard and is stronger than ever. Yeah! And more important during that time, we also met our new best friend, Mr. Arms. Come on. So one week from tonight, at the Epic in Grand Prairie, these heavy hitters, oh. And these two glitter emitters are going to tear the house down. Yeah. And you know, Sagan, 
it's funny, it's a street fight. Because uh, from uh, this side of the street, you got the arms, you got the legs, but over there, you're the ass. Hard to disagree with that. We'll see you at the purge. Seven days from tonight, how Sagan takes on Mr. Legs and Mr. Arms. I can't wait. And it's a street fight, which means anything goes, no holds barred, everything's legal. They can fight all over the city of Grand Prairie. Will Red Chambers and Dave Sagan be ready? For the legs and the arms inside the epic, will Isaac Mazur be ready? But again, one week from tonight, Saturday, June 15th, at the epic in Grand Prairie. One of the biggest shows of the year, the first, we just talked about it. Mr. Arms, Mr. Legs, facing the duo of Red Chambers and Dave Sagan, Hal Sagan, of course. Isaac Mazur will be there as well in a tag team street fight. Is the epic big enough to hold these, these four men? We're going to find out. But let's go to a video earlier today. The MPX champion, the Tommy Becker, and Jamie Aller arriving here at the building. same time same car so clearly same page all right tonight the tommy becker is going to take care of business in the ring over the next seven days i'm going to take care of business heading into the perch and tonight you're going to get one more reminder as to why this man is the best wrestler in this good all right appreciate it we're going to see the mpx champion later on tonight in tag team action but speaking of tag team action, another match we're going to see next week at the Purge. Tag titles on the line. Caleb Riley, Aaron Eagle taking on Gabe Wilder. Tommy Prince, the scorn in a tag team tables match, Tyler. And, uh, both members of one of those teams are both going to have to go through tables for that match to come to an end. Who's going to leave with the tag team championships around their waist? We're about to see one of them right here and right now. Yeah, a little bit unusual that we see members of the Scorn in tag action without the other by their side. Tommy Prince here tonight. We're going to see Gabe Wilder later on. There's the MPX Women's Champion, Hilda. Of course, the Scorn, they are a, a three-person group, so this is just a different combination of the Scorn here with Tommy Prince and MPX Women's Champion, Hilda. Gabe Wilder in our main event later on tonight, teaming up with Tatum Manning. It's always great to see the women's champion back in the MPX Event Center, coming out to a huge ovation as always. Through these series of tag matches tonight, we are going to see in this one one half of the score take on one half of the heroes, just as we're going to see in our main event later on tonight when Aaron Eagle and Gabe Wilder are on opposite sides of a tag team match. But before we see one half of the tag champs, here's a woman that next week at the purge will have an opportunity to become the NWA television champion as she takes on Dylan Havens and the NWA TV champion Max the Impaler making their return. 
return to MPX next week. Uh, Erica Torres felt as though she deserved. Oh, thank you, El Jefe. Another piece of my dividends. And Erica Torres felt as though she should have get another women's championship shot. First, welcome to the ring by El Jefe Tony Snow from Porterville. Well, Torres is not getting another chance at Hilda and the MPX Women's Championship. El Jefe, he, wor he worked around, maybe paid off somebody, you never know, but has gotten Erica Torres involved in that NWA Television Championship match next week. Torres always looks like she's just like one split second away from knocking that bleach out of Tony Snow's hair. I don't think she would do that. I don't know that she likes him. El Jefe got her in that title match next week. And speaking of titles, here comes one half of the MPX Tag Team Champions. Well, it's very unusual to see Caleb Riley walking without his nose buried in the rear end of Aaron Eagle. So this has to be a new, uh, a new look for him. He's, he's his sidekick. He's got to be right there by his side at all times. He's getting a new POV here tonight. Again, we're going to see the other half of the tag champs, Aaron Eagle, later on in the main event tonight as he teams with the new Addicts champion, the three-time Addicts champion, Mikey B. They'll take on Gabe Wilder and the former Addicts champion, yeah, Eric, Tata Manning. Erica Torres is telling Caleb Riley to get down. So is, she doesn't have any time for a hero's pose. So is Riley going to be Torres' sidekick here tonight? Uh, it, it looks that way. Whether he wants to be or not, right? Well, here comes Tommy Prince oh, getting right after firing away on Caleb Riley. Well, this match is we got to get Tony Snow out of the ring. He's just chilling. Get him the hell out of there. What are but we doing? Tommy Prince not waiting around to get his hands on on the sidekick, Caleb Riley. It looks like Hilda and Torres, old foes, they're going to be the ones that legally start off this match. The current women's champion and the former, the first ever MPX women's champion, Erica Torres. Remember the last time we were at the Epic for Destiny, Hilda knocked off Erica Torres to become the second ever MPX women's champion. And that Ron has sent Torres the outside. Look out for Hilda. Oh, Hilda, Hilda going up top. Hilda all the way up there. Crossbody takes out Torres Riley and even Tommy Prince. Yeah. Hilda, Hilda took some of El Jefe's money. I mean, it's on the floor. He obviously doesn't care about it that much. I still have my doubts that it's even real. You've got some right here. Look at that. Perfectly real. Try to spend it tomorrow and see if the police don't get called. I will. Hilda missed that roundhouse kick. Torres sends her into the ropes. Oh, nice roll from Hilda. Looking at things early. Only a two count. The kick from Hilda sends Erica Torres down to the mat. The Torres... That's Hilda looking for the cover. Torres felt she deserved another chance at Hilda in the MPX Women's Championship. And she wanted it at the purge. Of course, that's not on the table for her, but again, a chance to become NWA television champion. And Snow just threw a whole handful of money. And a back suplex on Hilda. Of course, Erica Torres in that match is going to have to deal with not only Cavens, but of course, Max the Impaler as well. Yeah, and I don't envy anyone that has to step foot in a ring with Max the Impaler. For those of you watching that aren't familiar with Max the Impaler, I urge you, after this show is over, go online, do some research, look at some videos, and you might uh, have fear in your hearts. Maybe not for Erica Torres, but perhaps for Dylan Cavens next week. Well, let's just say there's a reason Max the Impaler has been the NWA television champion for a while now. Torres in full control of Hilda. This Tommy Prince trying to fire up Hilda to get her over to the corner to make the tag. Erica Torres is continuing to throw Hilda all over this ring. That pump handle suplex. 
But now Torres looking for a cover. And you gotta believe no matter how next week goes for Erica Torres, if she's able to defeat Hilda here tonight and pin her in this tag match, that might put her in line for another shot at the MPX Women's Championship. Well, you'd have to think so. Erica Torres gotta be on a short list of contenders to challenge for that MPX Women's Championship. Could you imagine if Erica Torres becomes NWA Television Champion, then challenges Hilda and becomes MPX Women's Champion as well? Look, it's certainly possible. As Torres brings Hilda back to her feet, Irish whipping in the corner. The Torres telling Caleb Riley to pay attention to what she's doing. Well, maybe he shouldn't pay attention to that. And that elbow to the side of the head. And that Hilda both knees to the abdomen. Uh, Hilda looking for the cover, hooks the leg. So Erica Torres able to kick out at two. And now Torres is, is in a position that I don't think she wanted to be in where she really needs to tag the sidekick Caleb Riley. Well, as I say that, Torres retaking control of Hilda. Oh, and right into the knee. Nicely done from Torres. This, this might do it. Hilda might be out. She had to have knocked her out. No, Hilda still has enough in her to get her shoulder up. But Erica Torres just drove the knee right to the face of Hilda. Again, just when it looked like Hilda was taking control of this match for the scorn, Erica Torres turned it right back around in a hurry. And Hilda set into the corner that has Caleb Riley in it. Is Torres ever going to tag in Riley? Uh, she's so far shown no interest at all in tagging Caleb Riley into this match. Well, Riley's going to take it upon himself now, it looks like. Oh, I think he did he just tag himself yeah, in. Yeah, look at he tagged himself in on, on Torres' foot. I guess Riley only takes orders from Aaron Eagle. Well, he's only the sidekick to one person. That would be the hero of the people. He's not Erica Torres' sidekick. The shoulder thrust into the midsection of Hilda. As now Riley sends her in the opposite way. Riley charges in, others shoulders to the midsection. Where's the cape this week? D did he lose the cape? I, as I understand it, he's having it dry cleaned for the purge next week. I thought maybe it was taken away from him, like he has to earn it back or something. No, I don't. I don't believe so. Maybe Eagle is punishing him. No cape for you this week, young man. This is the only punishment going on right now is towards Hilda from the sidekick, Caleb Riley. Oh, and you see Tommy Prince in the background desperately trying to urge his sister, Hilda, to make her way over and tag him in. But Hilda has been stuck in the ring for quite a long time now, Tommy Prince. And Prince would he's love been, to... He's been waiting for that tag for quite a while. He would love to get in there ahead of next week's table match at the Purge and get started a little bit early here with Riley. And Riley with the suplex and a cheap shot to Prince. Riley with a cover and Prince in to break it up. The referee Cedric Scott now having to, to get Tommy Prince back out of the ring. As Caleb Riley goes right back on the attack here on the MPX Women's Champion Hilda. And Riley with several right hands in the corner. Oh, he, he pretended like he wanted to attack Torres, and he paid for it. He turned his attention away from Hilda. She hit him with the Enziguri. Now uh, can she make the tag? Look at Tony Snow. That might have been a mistake from Riley, but Erica Torres is going to take matters into her own hands here. And that release, German suplex, and here comes Princeton. He's seen enough. And of course, Rubbery Cedric Scott, all he sees is Tommy Prince in illegally. Look at Torres picking up her own partner. And it's driving right. Riley into the torso of Hilda. That's one way to use your partner to your advantage. And now she places him right there and tags herself in on the chest of Caleb Riley. There goes the sidekick. Torres legal once again and now has scooped up Hilda. And Erica Torres, that running Samoa drop cover. And again, only a two count. But Hilda somehow still able to kick out again. You got to wonder at this point how much longer Hilda can, can hang on. Stop. 
as Hilda trying to fight back any way she can. But Torres bringing Hilda back to her feet. Oh, Hilda using her foot as a weapon. And now can she make her way over to Prince? But Tommy Prince has been waiting over there for so long now. The best opportunity Hilda has had if she can get there and make the and tag. And again, Elfe. Tony Snow up on the apron, causing the distraction. The tag was made to Prince, and of course, referee doesn't see it. Yeah, there's no chance Cedric Scott was able to see that tag as he was watching El Jefe and Caleb Riley over there in the opposite corner. And look at Torres taking advantage, pulling Hilda back towards her. And, and again, Tommy Prince is sent back to the apron. And that's twice now Tony Snow has provided a distraction. It's Hilda in that leg lock from Torres. And Tony Hefe Snow throws some money in Hilda's face. She wanted to take it earlier. There's a little bit more for you. And now that front face lock with a hammer lock combined. Listen, with the, the amount of punishment Hilda has taken here, I don't, there's no way, there's no way that she could get out of this. And Hilda, again, battling back any way she can. And now can she make the tag? Hilda looking to tag in Tommy Prince for the third time now. Yeah, I, I would say another chance for Hilda, but she's not moving. Erica Torres trying to roll towards Hilda to prevent her from getting to her corner. Well, oh, can't she hang on to her? And Torres grabbing the ankles, but no, Hilda shoves her back. And now there's the tag. Tommy Prince has been tagged in. Springboard drop kick. The Tommy Prince tagged in and he's coming in hot. Riley, it's a forearm. There's one for Torres as well. Tommy Prince has been waiting a long time on the apron. Nice duck under. And the knee catching Torres right in the head. Yeah, Prince, he's got his eyes locked on Caleb Riley there in the opposite corner. And the forearm to Riley in the corner. And Prince is driving Riley down. Oh, and Erica Torres now back in. Trying to halt any of the oh, momentum the Prince was building there. Torres with that power. Sending and, Tommy into his own corner. And Hilda was climbing up in her oh, corner and knocked her. Oh, look, look at this. And Torres with both Hilda oh. and Tommy. Double power slam. The scorniest power slam I've ever seen. And now Hilda in the corner. I'm sorry, excuse me, Torres in the corner. Oh, I think Caleb Riley just tagged himself in on Torres' back. Much to the dismay of Erica Torres, who's none too pleased about it. I think Torres was ready to end this one. But now it's going to be Caleb Riley. And it's Riley and Prince, I believe, that are the legal competitors. Oh, and Hilda, that drop kick from behind. And a code breaker on Riley. I know this team of Torres and Caleb Riley just really hasn't been working since the beginning of this. Look at El Jefe. Oh, look at that. Tony Snow again getting involved. Damn it. The referee, Cedric Sky, was trying to get Hilda out of the ring. He saw none of that. And, and here comes Riley. Riley. Riley with the Olympic slam. Cover. Torres and Riley pick up the victory. Here are your winners. Erica Torres. And what half of the MBX Tag Team Champions, the sidekick, Caleb Riley. Well, next we got the purse. In order to be victorious, Caleb Riley will have to put Tommy Prince through a table. A pinball will not work. And no, not going to be any one, two, threes. No submissions next week in that double tables tag team title match. And this tag team that the whole way through looked to be very dysfunctional somehow comes together at the end and are leaving victorious here over the score. 
And despite not really getting along with the majority of the match, Erica Torres and Caleb Riley picking up the victory here tonight. Look at both of them looking to do the same thing when they are the purge next week. Riley in the tables match and Torres, of course, in that triple threat for the NWA TV title against Max the Impaler and Dylan Davis. I think even after the win, Erica Torres still doesn't look happy about that tag. She wanted to be the one to put Prince or Hilda away. Instead, it's Caleb Riley, but it's a victory nonetheless. Better believe Aaron Eagle was looking on. Has to be happy, has to be proud of his sidekick, Eagle. Hoping to stand victorious later tonight as well, next to Mikey B against Tatum Manning and Gabe Wilder. A championship duo of Aaron Eagle and new Addicts champion Mikey B at our main event later on tonight. Enough of the pose. We got a video to go to. We're going to see more posing later on, I'm sure. Let's go into this video about the purge. Next week, again, we've been talking about it all night. Production, you can kill this music now. It's a victory pose. Send it to the video for the purge. We got things to do. Thank you, appreciate it. Seven weeks from tonight, the epic in Grand Prairie. We've been talking about it all night. We're going to continue to talk about it all night. June 15th at the Perch. And listen to this match. Corey Wright, former NBS champion, one-on-one -on -one with JoJo, who, of course, will likely have Monty Cash on his side in a dumpster match. In order when you have to throw your opponent in the dumpster, what's going to happen in the first ever NPX dumpster match? Uh, Jojo, he spends a lot of times in dumpsters, but not the way that Kari Wright's going to put him in one next week. Three times. Three times. Addicts champion. I did it again. Again. I smashed Tatum Man. Smash. the hell? We're going to do it again tonight, baby. Tonight. We're going to smash Tatum Man. Hell, his little scorny boy Tommy Prince already lost. Loser. <laughs> and his little brother's going to lose again, too. <laughs> and I'm going to show him. All of them, baby. I'm gonna show all of them yeah, that I am right. the true king of pop. That's right. <laughs> That's where you're walking, small fry. Hey, Shorty, come on, man. You heard us. Sorry, Is there a problem? There might be. We're having a conversation here, kid. Sorry, right. Cavins. 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 Look, 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 look. I don't know if you guys noticed, but next week I have a very, very important match at the Purge for the NWA Television Championship. Okay, my main focus should be on Erica Torres and Maxi Impaler. So, King of Flock, if you would be so kind to take you and your one-hit wonder sideshow act somewhere else. Oh, oh, hey there, little man. What's going on? Hey, you know what? I got a better idea. How about you go find yourself a little tag team partner that'll match your size and you go against Polly P and Big J, baby. <laughs> we'll see you tonight, kid. Mine work. <laughs> That'll be later on tonight. Apparently, Cavins has to try to find himself a partner. But back to the purge. MPX champion, D. Tommy Becker, with Jamie Aller one on one against Demo Diamond. We're going to see both of these men in action later on tonight, Tyler. And we saw a very confident Jamie Aller arrive with the MPX champion, Tommy Becker, earlier. They seem to be on the same page heading towards the purge. Seven days from tonight in Grand Prairie at the Epic. Well, they will both be in tag team action later on, but next week is that no holds barred title match. Damn. And actually, I say later on, excuse me, that time is now. A man we saw the graphic moments ago getting ready for his dumpster match next week. The first ever dumpster match in MPX history. Uh, Jojo, they found himself in the wrong place at the wrong time a few times in the space of the reincarnation of excellence. And we saw him pay the price being pushed down that staircase in the trash can. Cartwright, a former MPX champion. He's going to be teaming with a man he's very familiar with. 
here tonight in Demo Diamond. Both men, former members of the now defunct TWC. Well, these two, they've teamed together plenty of times in the past. Looking to do it in victorious fashion once again here tonight. Tag team contest. This is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing the participants first. From Arlington, Texas, he is the reincarnation of excellence, Curry! For Destiny back in March, I didn't notice any dumpsters there inside the building. Uh, so, damn, neither did I. So it's going to be interesting to see if we if they end up bringing one inside, or these guys going to have to go outside of the dumpster. We're going to find out next week. All right now, here comes the man who, one week from tonight, could be your brand new MPX champion. He's the shining truth, Demo Diamond. He's been on a roll as he heads towards the purge. He's put away a lot of problems from his past, whether it be Exodus Prime, whether it be Dylan Cavins, and he's got one more in sight in the Tommy Becker. And his tag team partner from the Emerald City, he is the number one contender to the MPX Championship, the Shadow Truth. two-time Addicts Champion looking to become a first-time MPX Champion next week, but in order to do that, he has to get past the best in the state, the Tommy Becker. Again, we, you mentioned earlier, we saw Jamie Aller and Tommy Becker show up together. We know they had some issues several weeks back, or maybe uh, it didn't seem like Jamie had a lot of confidence in his longtime friend and ally. It seems like they put that behind them. It seems like maybe Jamie Aller's changed his tune a little bit. Maybe something he's seen over the last week or two has swung everything back into Tommy Becker's favor in his mind. Look, things have, I know you would know this because you don't have any friends, but sometimes friends fight, friends argue, and you move past it. And it seems like that's what happened with Jamie and Tommy. But right now, where's the, um, hold on. Well, that was JoJo's music. He, is he already in the dumpster? So I need to go get him out. I haven't seen JoJo here tonight. And now I think about it, I, I, I haven't either. Didn't even see him outside. Oh, there he is. With Jamie Aller. Jamie better check his pockets. Make sure JoJo hasn't pulled a fast one. Like Jamie Aller trying to give a, a little pep talk to JoJo here as he gets ready to team with the MPX champion, the Tommy Becker. Now what's interesting is there's no Monte Cash all here tonight. Well, you're right now. I haven't seen him today either. Maybe JoJo can actually get a meal here. Well, he's, he's got some money, it looks like. I bet Aller is going to take the money from him too. He's trying to pick up the money. Jamie says it's not real. And their opponents are coming into the ring by Jamie Oller, the team of JoJo, and the MPX champion, the Tommy Becker. Yeah, JoJo, JoJo was looking for pockets on Becker's jacket. Well, he's trying to pick the pocket. I'm going to answer Matt Andrews. Uh, he, he doesn't have anything in his pockets. Probably not. He's getting a good whiff of JoJo, though. He's been in that dumpster all day and then getting ready for the purge next week. And Tommy Becker's going to have his hands full here tonight. Not just with Demo Diamond, but his old foe, former MPX champion, Kari Wright. And I don't know that we've necessarily seen JoJo work well with, with others here in the past. So it'll be interesting to see how he teams with Tommy Becker. Uh, in, the, in this scenario, we, we know how well Kari Wright and Demo Diamond can work together. 
But what I, I've got my eye on is how exactly Becker and JoJo are going to function as a tag team. So since all these matches were announced during the week, this is what I've been looking forward to the most. I want to see how this is going to work out. Referee Travis Trueborn calls for the bell. This one is underway. Now the whole theme of tonight is common enemies bringing people together. And in some cases it works a lot better. Like right here in Kari Wright and Demo Diamond than it might in, say, Tommy Becker and JoJo. Well, for once, I actually have to agree with you, Tyler. It's Tommy Becker again. Knows Kari Wright very, very well. These guys had several excellent matches. The end of last year, the start of this year. It was Kari Wright. The man Becker took the MPX championship from. Tommy Becker has been the MPX champion for nearly six months. Oh, could that time be ticking down? One week from tonight, you could be looking at the next MPX champion right over there to the right of your screen in Demo Diamond. Well, if you listen to Demo Diamond, he'll tell you time is definitely ticking down. He's been telling anyone that'll listen that he feels he's going to leave with that MPX championship next week at the Purge. A demo, he feels like he's got all the momentum going his way, heading towards the Purge next week at Grand Prairie. I think in his mind there is little to no doubt that he walks away with the MPX title around his waist. Tucker back to his feet. Charges down. Oh, nice shoulder tackle. Kari goes down. Kari went for the hip toss. Got blocked. Now Becker turns it into one of his own. Becker dropping the elbow. Big splash in the corner from the MPX champion. That neckbreaker sends the reincarnation of excellence down to the mat. As Becker has his eyes on his number one contender there in the corner. And now Becker with that left angle of Kari Wright. Hey Becker, <laughs> Becker wants Demo Diamond to watch what's happening to Kari Wright here. Saying this is your future. Kari knows all about that ankle lock. Do you think Kari Wright has given Demo Diamond any tips of how to avoid Tommy Becker's ankle lock? Because Kari's not avoiding it right now. Well, he's got a chance to show him right here. Oh! oh they he sent him right into Demo Diamond. Becker took a shot at Diamond, sitting Diamond down to the floor. But at least for Kari Wright, it got him out of that ankle lock. But Diamond stopping Kari. But Demo with a shot to Becker and Kari Wright coming off of the cross body. And now Kari with that chin lock applied. Doing his best to keep Becker away from the corner, looking right over at JoJo, Kari's opponent next week at the Purge. Is it Jamie Oliver down there trying to trying to make sure JoJo doesn't doesn't do anything stupid here Tommy, to keep him at bay for the moment? I'm surprised Jamie's standing so close to JoJo. Usually you, you get a whiff of that yeah, stitch. I, I didn't expect him to be that close to him either. Maybe Jamie passed him a bar of deodorant. Who knows? I mean, it, it is probably allergy season. Maybe he's stuffed up, which is to his advantage here. Kari bringing Becker back to his feet. Modified Dragon Sleeper apply with Ceiling Roll, drops the elbow. And the cover. Uh, Kari waiting on Tommy Becker. Oh, up and over. Goes Kari right. Oh, Kari with that springboard misses. Back to his feet, runs right into the huge boot of Becker. And now Becker tags JoJo in. And on the other side, Demo has tagged in. We got fresh competitors oh, on both sides. Jo JoJo taking a bite. He thought it was snack time. And now firing away on the challenger for next week's title match. And JoJo going to work on Demo Diamond. He'll try to take a shot at Kari Wright. He took his eyes off the ball. And that huge forearm to the back of the head from Demo Diamond. Diamond with that snap suplex. The demo Diamond. 
Wait for the cover. Oh. He almost suplexed JoJo right out of his sweatpants. And now Diamond with that chin lock on JoJo. It's interesting that Diamond didn't get into the match until JoJo was in there. You think he's trying to avoid Tommy Becker until next week? He's going to make him wait. Make him wait till the purge. The brilliant strategy on the part of the number one contender. The big spine buster drops JoJo, and that might be it. And only a two count. And now Diamond bringing JoJo back to his feet. Another swing and a miss for JoJo. He's not connected with those punches, but that just connected. A demo diving. This might, might be it. He might have knocked JoJo out. Oh. And he was staring a hole right through Jamie Aller as he went for that cover. Almost a message. This is what I'm going to do to your boy next week. A demo pulling JoJo back up to his feet. Was he trying to try to pickpocket Demo Di Demo Diamond's trunks? Well, he just hit a huge form of his own as he was trying to pick a non-existent pocket. Oh, and that double underhook! And Demo looks like he could be out of it. And JoJo, I don't think he's in any condition to try to go for a cover, but can he get to his corner and maybe tag the MPX champion back in? And Jamie Aller. I think he was asking our concession stand for some, for some snacks. All are getting in time for snacks. What is some nerds gummies? Always a favorite of mine, and a Red Bull. Well, it it encouraged JoJo to get to the corner and make it, the tag. It motivated me now. Here's a very motivated, motivated MPX champion. Reverse lean blade drives the face of Kari into the mat. Now Becker going up top. And that flying form take Kari off his feet. Wait, Jamie actually gave him the stuff too. To call Monty Cashaw. That's not how you not how you do this. I think that's a hell of a motivator. Monty Cashaw might be able to learn a few things from Jamie Aller. Oh, look at Becker. Oh. Well, Kari Wright is very familiar with being in this spot right here. Becker looking to shatter the ankle. Oh, oh, wait, what is JoJo doing? Not wasting. What's he doing? He pulled his ankle out from the. And JoJo the, going after Kari. He didn't. He got re-energized from that Red Bull, I believe. And Becker looking out confused at what was happening at Demo Diamond, coming in from behind the MPX champion. As Reverie Travis Chuborn tries to get JoJo and Kari broken on the outside. Oh, I think Diamond was going for a spear. Right, Becker demo, leapfrogged. The demo out to the floor. Kari right and JoJo. They're still going at it. Oh, look at this. Oh, and just dropping him. Ribs first on that guardrail. I think JoJo made a huge mistake there. I think Becker had everything well in hand with oh. Kari Wright. Here goes Becker back, right back to the ankle. And the ankle lock. The ankle lock is set in. Oh, Demo a Diamond on the floor. He just pulled out a trash can lid. And he, he hit the mat with it and threw yeah, it And he threw Holler. it into Holler's hands. As Corey's tapping. The referee's on the floor with, with JoJo. Becker has the ankle lock on Kari. Demo Diamond again, again hitting the mat with that trash can lid. And now throws it to Oller again. again. Threw it back into Oller's hands. And, but, and Reverie Travis Trueborn. He heard the trash can lid. They look, he saw it in Oller's hands. He sees Demo Diamond down. Well, obviously the implication would be that Oller hit Demo Diamond with it. Well, Oller definitely did hit Diamond with it. I think he's, Trueborn is throwing Jamie Oller out. He's sending him to the back. I mean, Travis Trueborn was down there for a long time. And Tommy Becker, I don't think Tommy Becker saw of any what was happening down there. He's questioning what, what Oller was oh, doing. Corey lands the knee on Becker. JoJo tags himself in. And a spear! Diamond with the spear on JoJo! Just 
cut JoJo in half with that one. Tommy Becker was a little bit distracted. After Oliver got thrown out, as JoJo ran right into that spear from Demo Diamond. And if Demo Diamond hits that spear next week on Tommy Becker, Tyler, we could have a brand new NBX champion. And we are just one week away from the purge, from the time that Demo Diamond gets his shot at Tommy Becker for that NBX championship, as well as JoJo, what's left of him there. He's got seven days to recover for this dumpster match against the reincarnation of excellence. Kari Wright and Will Kari toss him out into the trash just like that next week. Dumpster match next week. Kari Wright and JoJo MBX title match next week. Demo Diamond, Tommy Becker. The Aller came back out here. I think he was trying to explain to the referee and to Tommy Becker, what, what was happening over there? Much more still coming out, of course. That main event, Tatum Manning and Gabe Wilder taking on Mikey B, Aaron Eagle. We also know we're gonna see Cavins and tag team action taking on the He's duo. He's gonna find a partner from somewhere. Yeah, taking on Pauly P and Big J. And the question is, who's Cavins gonna find in such short notice? But that match, that's gonna be next as we continue with MPX's common enemies. this for a second. Jamie Aller is completely pissed off at referee Travis Tuborn. Yeah, I can't say I blame him. Tuborn made a judgment call. He didn't see anything. Uh, Tommy Becker, I don't think Tommy Becker saw what was happening out there either. He doesn't know. Tuborn you can did see the look in his eyes. Tuborn did something no one should ever do and that's believe Demo Diamond. Right, Drew Bourne is the referee. You can only call what you see, and he saw. Well, he that's the thing. He didn't see it. He saw so the he lid, the trash can lid, he in called, all his hands. He called what he heard. No, he heard he the saw. sounds. He saw Demo Diamond on the ground. Yeah, he, are you taking up for Travis Drew Bourne, actually? Well, I mean, in that Tell case, so. there's only one thing you can think. You see, Tommy Becker, I'm not sure if he was buying the explanation. MPX's common enemies continues. Twitch.tv slash Metroplex Wrestling. Cody Cox, Tyler Foster with you as always. As Tyler, we are now half a show away from the perch, by the way. And we continue with the tag team action. As these are two guys here, no common enemies around here. Big J, Polly P, ready for tag team action against Brilliant Dell and Cavins. And, uh, well, 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 we don't know. The, the challenge was issued earlier by the Addicts champion, Mikey B. And, and Cavins never want to back down from a challenge. He's probably hoping to buy, have a partner here tonight. So Cavins was just minding his own business walking through. These guys started bullying him. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, working out of Orlando, Florida, the team Polly P and Big J awaiting the arrival of Brilliant Dell and Cavins. We'll see if Cavins has been able to find a tag team partner. He might be going in this by himself, which would be uh, not the best idea one week away from his shot at the NWA Television Championship. Well, and I'm trying to think if I've seen anyone here today that wasn't already in a scheduled match, and I haven't. Everyone I've seen in the back was already advertised to be here. And one week ahead of the purge, I don't know he's going to find anybody willing to pull double duty here tonight. 
Well, there are a lot of people that strongly dislike Pauly P and Big J. And their opponents first from the brilliant streets of 25 and 18, brilliant Dylan Oh, yeah, let's see it. Cavins, has he come up with a tag team partner or no? His tag team partner. Who is it? Oh my oh, god! No! Holy me and Big J better be wearing dark pants! The world breaker! The end of the world! Rick Savage is here tonight to team with Dylan Cable. Look at the smile on Cable's face. That is the last thing you want to see coming through that curtain. If you're Polly P and Big J, and I can't believe it. how did Cavins pull this off? Rick Savage doesn't like anybody. I don't know that Savage necessarily likes Cavins, but I think he'll jump at any opportunity to beat the hell out of someone. From White Widow Valley, La Raña, Blanca de Maria, Time a Kid, but no stop. smiling when you know you got Brick Savage in your corner. I mean, it's not too late for Paulie and Big J to, to hit the bricks, pardon the pun. I mean, Big J looking like he's not going to back down. I mean, Big J with a height advantage. Uh, Big, J, Big J's not scared. He's right there in Brick Savage's face. Holy looks a little bit more concerned. I think Big J trying to give Pauly P some courage. So he's just a man. The Cavins coming in. The Cavins told Brick that, that he wants to start this match. And that's what we're getting. Cavins starting for his team. Well, uh, nope, never mind. Oh, uh, Pauly turned his back. He thinks Cavins is still in there and. It's not Cavins anymore. <laughs> and Pauly, Pauly got knocked down with like wind, basically. And now Savage, not wasting any time. Look, Pauly's been in the ring before with Brick Savage. He's felt the wrath of Savage, and he's feeling it again and right it, now. It's looked a lot like this. Pauly. Was that, wait, hold on. Was that a smile on the face of Brick Savage? I don't know if I've ever seen Savage smile before. Uh, oh, what a suplex. I think it's as close as you're going to get. There's no smile on Polly P's face right now. And Savage tagging Cavins back in. A brick stepping on the ankle of Polly, keeping him in place. Now for Cavins. Look at the speed and the quickness of Cavins. Underneath the boot. Takes Polly down to one knee. Oh, that running kick. You know, a lot of this right here as Cavins covers, hooks. Nope. That's what you're going to need to see out of Cavins next week when Max the Impaler is in there with him. You're going to have to use a lot of that speed and basically just stay away from Max the Impaler as much as possible. Well, we saw one of the challengers for the NWA television title next week earlier tonight in Erica Torres. Dylan Cavins will join that match as well with Max the Impaler. But tonight, Brick Savage with all the addicts behind him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big J. Uh, Big J. Landing that forearm on, on Brick Savage. Now these two, these two giants trading shots back and forth. It's Big J, he's, he's been rocked. Big Brick, Big Brick's impressed. Another double clothesline. Neither man Nobody. budging. Both men charge in again. Well, that one might have got a little bit of Big J. Big J bearing the brunt of that one. But Big J, to his credit, still on his feet. Uh-oh. Oh, Savage right there with the forearm. 
Then Bricks had qu uh, quite a bit enough of a uh, of Big J. And a back wow. suplex on Big J. Big J not staying down and say he's gonna tag in Polly. And Polly just gave Big J a look like, why the hell would you do that? Well now you got Big J and Polly both on the apron. And finally Polly P gonna take his best shot. Oh what a needed Polly. Cavins over there in the corner. Again, that big smile on his face. He's watching on the, the chaos that Brick Savage is causing here. And, and I just saw a, a big smile from Savage. Brick Savage, I think, is actually having fun. Now Cavins tagging in. Going to work on Polly. Now Cavins. Both feet down across the back of Polly. Well, I wonder what Mikey B's thinking right now. Watching on what's happening here with Big J and Polly B. Of course, he's got that big main event. Tag teaming with, with Aaron oh. Eagle later tonight. A spinning head scissors takes Polly down, sends him into the corner. And Caven's charging in. Back draw, no Caven's on the apron. Polly, Polly with the catch of Cavins. Now finally, Polly P showing some life here. Now European uppercut on Cavins. And now Big J comes in. And for the first time in this match, you're seeing the team of Polly P and Big J finally able to get some kind of advantage. And look at the power of Big J, that backbreaker variation on Cavins. Hooks both legs, only a one count. Now Big J standing in the way of Cavins and his tag partner for the evening, Brick Savage. Dragging Cavins over with ease. Paulie has no problems tagging in when Cavins in the ring. No, no. Polly looking good here against Cavins. We have Polly staring down Brick Savage. Well, he has his foot right across the throat of Cavins. Yeah, Polly's a real big man when Savage isn't in there, right? Just firing himself up in case Savage does get back in. This time he'll be ready. Or he'll be running. Polly with a cover. Now Cavins again at the wrong corner as Big J tags himself in. But now they're keeping Cavins on their side of the ring, making sure he gets nowhere near Brick Savage and making that tag. And Cavins trying to get out of that corner. Just getting beat down by Big J right now. Now right now Cavins has got to feel like he's 20 miles away from his corner and getting to Brick Savage as he continues to take punishment from both Big J and Polly P. Quick strikes from Cavins. Can he get this over? Could be the chance. To Savage. Yeah, Big J has the referee in the corner. And Robert Travis Schumer did not see the tag as Caven's being dragged back over to Polly and Big J's corner. Oh, Polly P and Big J using that distraction of the referee to take Caven's back over to their side and continue what they'd started earlier. And now quick tags on the part of Polly and Big J. And Mikey B most likely has to be very thrilled with what he's seen right now ahead of his tag team main event match later on. With a double suplex from Big J and Polly P. Polly looking for the cover on Cavins, but only able to get two. And the Addicts trying to will Cavins back over to Savage, but Polly just driving Cavins into the corner. But Polly returning Cavins right back where he came from. And the tag made Big J. Once again, the legal man in this one. 
Another double team effort. Oh wait, nope. Cavins caught them both with with the knees. Cavins still has some fight left in him. That jumping in Zaguri on Big J spinning back kick to Pauly. Trying to get out of that waist lock. Oh, hands on his feet. Oh, he's right. He's dangerously close to the corner. There's, There's the, the tag. There's the tag to Savage. Savage in. Elbow to Big J. Huge right hand. Polly Polly thinks he's back in the entourage right now. Yeah, Polly and Big J had everything going their way. They made that one crucial mistake you can't make. And that was let Cavins make that tag. And now Brick Savage. Look, look oh at that. God. Look at that. Savage with her and Karana. Are you kidding me? They just sent Big J out to the floor as he and Polly are trying to regroup. And now Savage oh. just tossing his partner over the top out on the Big J and Polly P. Team of Savage and Cavins. Now Brick out on the floor, pulling Big J back up, and to send him back into the ring. And now Cavins and Savage working together for the first time into the DDT. Oh, we got for Paulie swing and a miss. Oh. The six on Pauly, right onto his own partner, and now Cavins going up top. Frog splash up and over, Savage. Two. This match is over. Here are your winners, the team of Brilliant, Dylan Cavins, and the World Breaker. successfully hits that frog splash next week on either Max the Impaler or Eric Torres, Cavins could be the next NWA television champion. I bet right now Cavins is wishing he would have Rick Savage watching his back next week too. I like this team though. I hope management's listening. I want to see Cavins and Savage again. How about this? The Brilliant Heathens. There you go, you got a name already. Put the t-shirts. You saw the look on Savage's face there. I don't think he was overly uh, happy with Cavins' celebration. Cavins maybe smartly getting out of the ring there. More tag team action on the way. The big main event, of course, we're gonna see Mikey B. Aaron Eagle take it on Gabe Wilder and the former Addicts champion. One in a million, Tatum Manning. I understand Tatum Manning is standing by with words ahead of his main event match here tonight. But first, before we hear from Tatum Manning, let's talk more about the perch, Tyler. Next week, Triple Threat, we just talked about the NWA television title on the line. Cavins, who was just victorious. Erica Torres, who was victorious earlier as well. I guess Max the Impaler, the TV champion. I don't envy Torres or Cavins. What's going to happen next week? Max the Impaler at the perch. Now let's go to Manning. Mikey B. Ooh, if you know what's best for you, my boy, you're in a corner somewhere. Down on both knees, hands clasped, nice and tight together. Saying your prayers to the good Lord above, saying, Oh, hey God, it's me, Mikey B. And I, I need your guidance now more than ever. I'm really scared, God, because in seven days' time at the Purge, Tatum Manning is going to hand me my own ass on a super platter. Because next week, it's you and me, Mikey. No rules, no countouts, no disqualifications. And I know you're going to bring your friends, Mikey. That's fine. You can bring Big Jacob so he can throw one leg over the top rope and throw another leg over the top rope nice and slow. You can bring Polly Paparazzi so he can wind up his little towel and whip everybody and like it just a little too much. I'm going to bring two of my friends, Mikey. One friend I think you met last week. 
Some people call him the rookie. Some people call him the kid. I call him the Cowabunga Kid. I call him Adam Green. And my second new friend, Mikey, since you're such a big megastar, since you're the boy band behemoth, my second new friend is going to show you what a real star is. My second friend is the one and only, the king of pop. Making his MPX debut at the Purge, my new friend is Santana Jackson. And as for tonight, Mikey and Aaron Eagle, it's Scorny time! <laughs> it's Scorny time. That we now know. I guess it's a six man tag next week as Mikey B is going to bring his band, Polly P, Big J, to take on the team of the Cowabunga Kid Adam Green, one in a million Tatum Manning, and the MPX debut of Santana Jackson. Alex, if you have not seen Santana Jackson action, go look up the news. You're going to be thoroughly entertained next week at the Purge. champion Brixton Shaw gets ready to form what I think might be a pretty decent little tag team here. He's going to join forces with the king of the islands himself, Kaimi. I believe this is a first ever teaming of Brixton and Kaimi. Oh God. I was hoping, you know, we didn't see Monty Castell earlier. I was hoping maybe we wouldn't see Nicholas Caldwell as well earlier this week. Of course you're going to see Coach Caldwell. He's brought out his finest track suit, his best whistle. He's ready to go, as is Kaimi. Ready to join forces with Ultra Ego, Brixton Shaw. Here tonight, the first time teaming, taking on two guys that have teamed with each other quite a bit, but it has been some time since we've seen a little bit of excessive violence here at MPX. And I guess it's only appropriate, here seven days away from the purge, that we get a little excessive violence coming our way. The man on the left, Sky Hill, promotes that. Sends a go one on one next week to Perth against the Culver in a death, an epic death match, if you will. And puts in this ovation, Tyler. I can barely hear myself. That's no secret. If there's one thing the MPX addicts love, it's excessive violence. And their opponents, the team of the Bear Fighter, Dimitri Alexander, the Texas Chainsaw Sky. Of course, if it's excessive violence you want, next week for the Purge in that epic death match, I think you're going to get exactly that when the Carver beats Sky De La Formosa. It's always good to see the bear fighter, Dimitri Alexander, out back in an MPX ring. Uh, hopefully for what? The, the lights went... Oh, what? Wait, what?
that just played of the Carver. Oh, the Carver finding the, the perfect time to send a little message to his opponent for next week at the Purge, Sky De La Cremosa. Tyler, I've been watching videos of the Carver lately trying to get prepared for his debut at the Purge next week. I don't think you could prepare for something like that. Well, no, but also he might be one of the most sick and twisted individuals I've ever seen, and that's saying a lot considering we see Scott Hill promotes every week. I think the Carver, they're showing a little bit of what Sky has to look forward to in that epic death match next week at the Purge. Oh, keep your eyes on oh, the Texas Chainsaw. Lucha Sky gonna fly. The Kaimi and Brixton Shaw, they tried to take advantage there and get the jump on excessive violence. It has backfired as Dimitri and Sky now in control of their opponents. And making his way over to the wrong corner is De La Cremosa with that headbutt. I guess Briggs and Shaw, Sky De La Cremosa, we, we'll call them the legal men starting this one out officially. You know, of all the tag teams we've seen teaming here tonight, Tyler, a lot of, of course, uh, teaming for the very first time, I don't think there's been a more cohesive unit that we've seen this evening than Dimitri and Sky De La Cremosa. And you've got a couple of former MPX champions. These guys, not only have they fought alongside each other, they've also beat the hell out of each other on multiple occasions. Yeah, you look up and down what we've had here tonight at Common Enemies. Should be hard pressed to find a more cohesive unit than Dimitri Alexandrov and Sky De La Cremosa. As now you're taking down a, a former MPX champion on the other side in Brixton Shaw. Dimitri looking for the cover on, on Shaw, only able to get two. And now Dimitri picking Shaw up on his shoulder. Oh, Brixton running right into the back elbow. Oh, and Caldwell has a hold of that ankle of the bear fighter. Well, here comes Brixton. Oh, what a lariat. Yeah, Brixton Shaw, he got every bit of that clothesline on the bear fighter, but Dimitri able to kick out the kick into the spine of Dimitri Alexandrov from Ultra Ego, Brixton Shaw. As Shaw continues his attack here, you know, I see these two in the ring with each other. I can't help but think back to these two battling over the MPX championship in the past. And the hard-hitting matches that produced, we're seeing a little more of it here tonight. And that open-handed slap from the man from across the pond. And Shaw taking Dimitri back into his team's corner. The Shaw out choking away on Dimitri Alexandrov. And Kaimi is going to get a little bit himself. A big headbutt there from Shaw. Sending Alexandrov down and the tag made to the king of the islands. Here comes Kaimi. He's now Kaimi. Knife edge chop to Dimitri. Sends him back into the corner. Kaimi driving the, the elbow into the side of the face of Alexandrov and now Shaw gonna get a little more in behind the referee's back as he's distracted with Kaimi. But for a first time tag team, oh. Kaimi and Shaw working pretty well together. And the cover. I mean, you shouldn't, you should expect nothing less. I mean, you got a brilliant head coach out there in the corner in Nicholas Caldwell. I'm sure he's he's molded this team into something special very quickly. And now Kaimi with the bear fighter in the corner again. I guess this is what he talks about, a couple of chops, a couple of shots. Trying to turn that chest to Dimitri's red is now the bear fighter firing back with some shots of his own. Uh, Dimitri Alexandrov firing right back at Kaimi. And Kaimi ducks that one. And now the king of the islands taking control again on the bear fighter. Up and over sunset flip from Alexandrov. 
Only able to get two. And that huge forearm. And that jumping in Zaguri from Kaimi. Hooks both legs. And Caldwell thought that was three. He damn near jumped out of his tracksuit. Well, you see Kaimi a little frustrated. I think he thought it was going to be three as well, but instead. He takes Alexandra back to his corner, tags Brixton Shaw back in. And Dimitri right now is in a real bad way. Heyman neckbreaker as Dimitri has to find a way to get over to Skydale and Promosa. And a kick right to the ribs. And tell her we talk about Dimitri and De La Cremosa being former MPX champions. Many addicts forget Brixton Shaw once held that title as well. But Brixton Shaw as well at one point, the holder of, of one of the longest undefeated streaks ever in MPX. It's Brixton with a bear fighter up on the shoulders. Well, Alexandrov able to slip away. What a shot. Is that going to be enough for Dimitri to get to his corner and finally make that tag to the Texas Chainsaw? Shaw is still on his feet, but I'm not sure he knows where he is. Well, he was able to grab the leg of Alexandrov. And the Enziguri from Alexandrov buys himself some time. Can he make the tag? And Shaw still up. Again, able to stop Dimitri from making the tag. That release German suplex puts a lot of distance between Dimitri and Sky. And Shaw gloating. Oh, wait a oh, second. Oh, the bear fighter. The bear fighter back up, a German of his own. Hey, Brixton Shaw took a little too much time taunting De La Cremosa in the corner. But again, Alexandrov, I think he used everything he had left in him there to get Brixton Shaw up. Is he going to be able to get to the corner to, to make the tag? Brixton Shaw is right there in front of Kaimi. If he can, if he can reach up. Oh, Alexandra makes the tag. And here comes Kaimi. Kaimi runs into the clothesline. Brixton back up. Huge boot from De La Cremosa. There's one to Kaimi. And Scott De La Cremosa cleaning house here. Side to a suplex on Brixton. With a big headbutt from the Texas Chainsaw. The gut wrench power bomb from Sky Hill and Cremosa. Just planted Kaimi. Caldwell. Caldwell's blowing the whistle. I think there's a penalty on that one. There's no penalties. Look, Caldwell's damn pants are falling down. Oh, silver lining from De La Cremosa. You can't hit a coach like that. He's not in the match. And the kick from Brixton. Now here comes Kaimi. 808. He calls that leg layer at the 808 cover, too. Oh, that was close. Almost had De La Cremosa. Alexandrov just barely able to make the save for his partner. Now Kaimi and Brixton Shaw stopping away on the bear fighter. He kept this match going, but he's paying the price for it now. And now Kaimi and Brixton working together. Ooh, Dimitri got caught. And now Rubber needs to get one of these guys out of here. So Brixton with the oh wait a minute oh and Brixton and Kaimi just bumped heads. Well, Alexandrov, they're trying to get Shaw up for something there, but Brixton Shaw, the elbows into the back of the head of the bear fighter. Oh wait a minute. Nice teamwork from excessive violence. That clears out Ultra Ego, but here comes Kaimi. A big mistake. Kaimi firing away on, on both of excessive violence. He was going for the hammer jam and driver, got blocked. Dimitri with the knee. Uh -oh. And now De La Cremosa, death, no. See, I got ahead of myself. Death by Flosion, how about that? We haven't seen that in forever. 
I think that's going to be it for Brother Kaimi. Yeah. I think if anything, that video we saw from the Carver right before this one got underway, it might have motivated Scott Taylor Cremosa even more than he already was. That's unfortunate for Brixton Shaw and for Kaimi. Carver! You think you can play mind games with the Texas Chainsaw? Next week, at the Purge, at the Epic and Grand Perry, I'm going to make you look down in a pool of your own blood! When I'm done, when I'm done, Proposa said there, I don't doubt next week in that epic death match. It's gonna be Saturday, bloody Saturday at the Purge in Grand Prairie. I hope the cleanup crew is ready after that match. Sky Dale Camosa versus the Carter. First time ever. I said it last week, I'm gonna say it again, Tyler. I don't know if the Epic over in Grand Prairie knows exactly what they've gotten themselves into by agreeing to host the purse. After this one, they're gonna get a big taste of excessive violence. The question is, Sky, the Carver, will either of them be able to walk out of Grand Prairie next week? Let's talk about it one more time. The time is running out to get your tickets, by the way. MPXWrestling.com. Join us at the Epic in Grand Prairie one week from tonight when that man, that very scary looking individual, the Carver, makes his debut against another scary looking individual, Scott Adela Promosa, in an epic death match at the Epic in Grand Prairie. Hey, yo, Tommy Becker. The time for talk is done. Jamie has protected you week after week, and now we can't do it at the purge. So when we lock up, I'm not only taking your title, but I'm taking your title as the best damn wrestler in Texas. So at the purge, I'll make you grow up. And not only that, I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Becker and Demo going at it. Oh, our cameraman just got knocked down. Well, they're still Somebody fighting, it looks like. There. What's going on back there? The hell? We better get some security back. Becker and Demo. But we just heard from Tatum Manning earlier. Adam Green and Santana Jackson making it as they need to take on the Anna Champion Mikey B. Big J and Pauly Paparazzi in a six-man tag team match next week at the Perks. Are we getting those guys separated in the back? Are, are they, has anybody broken them up? The cameraman went down, we lost our feed back there to whatever. Tommy Becker attacking Demo Diamond. But right, nonetheless, we've, we've still got a main event to go here. Well, the brand new Addicts champion, the man who won the title for a third time last week. And he hasn't shut up about it since the boy band behemoth himself, Mikey B. With the three-time MPX Addicts champion defeating Tata Manning right here a week ago to reclaim that Addicts championship. 
And I guess next week, it's really the boy band behemoth's chance to prove he's the true king of pop. Losing their effort earlier to Dylan Cavins and Brick Savage. Mikey B. Hoping that they are a little bit better here tonight, teaming with the one half of the tag champions, Aaron Eagle. Oh, what a team. This should be an all champions tag team here at our main event. The Addicts champ, Mikey B. Joining forces with the hero of the people, Aaron Eagle, one half of the MPX Tag Team Champions. You know, his sidekick, he was victorious earlier on here tonight. But Caleb Riley was victorious earlier. Let me ask, do you think Caleb Riley is a little bit jealous of Mikey B here tonight because Mikey B's teaming with Eagle and Riley's not? I mean, maybe a little bit. I'm sure Caleb Riley would rather be right here beside Aaron Eagle in this one, but that's going to happen next week in that double tables match when they defend their tag team titles against the Scorn. And his tag team partner from Baghdad, Arizona, he is one half. Mikey B, he's much more, uh, much more willing to share the spotlight. Here comes the man that we heard from our little sporty Manny. Look at this, loving the graphics. It is the duo of Rugged Game Wilder. Of one in a million, Tatum Manning. It's a little bit of bullcat for you on a Saturday night. Yeah, I know, I'm showing my age. Manning made the announcement. Santana Jackson will join Manning and Adam Green in a six man tag next week. I can't wait. And their opponents slow riding a scorn of hell, USA. The team of. Eagles out here. He's clearing out signs for the scorn, for Tatum Manning, for Scorny Manning, for, for anything really. Whatever happened to freedom of speech? I mean, they're right here. They're in the front row. They're in the hero's uh, realm. Apparently Aaron Eagle not a fan of the First Amendment. Referee Cedric Scott tries to get things in order for our final tag match, final match of the evening, the main event. And Tatum Manning starting this one off. I'm sure he'd love to get his hands on Mikey B after what happened here last week, but instead, it's going to be the hero of the people starting out. Well, now Manning switching out for, with Gabe Wilder, and now here comes Mikey. Oh, Eagle wants no part of Wilder. And you better believe Wilder, along with Tommy Prince, they want to get their hands on Aaron Eagle even more after what happened several weeks ago to their dad, Richard Hill. And now it's Manning back in. Mikey B out again. Here comes Aaron Eagle. Did we finally figure out a combo to start this one? Nope, no. not quite. Well, as far as that Eagle and Manning, no strangers to one another, of course. A lot of quick tags to start things off here in this match. Now again, Wilder and Mikey B. Here comes oh. Manning back in. And Mikey. The Eagle tags himself back in. We're back to Manning and Eagle again. No, I've never seen this many tags before there's any contact made before.
an Eagle and Mikey B trying to show they're on the same page. I guess they have plans. They came in here with a strategy, right? Well, I'm sure they did. They oh, were ready. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Mikey got brought in the hard way. And now Waller with a shot to Eagle, right hand for Manning. And this thing is breaking down just as quickly as it got started. We got all four men in the ring. There goes Mikey and Aaron Eagle. Cleared out by Manning and Gabe Wilder. Oh, they're following him to the floor, it looks like. Oh, and there's Wilder and Manning to meet them out on the floor. Now, of course, this match does have regular rules, but we know next week, Tyler at the Perch, there are no rules. Throw the rule book out the window. Anything goes all night long. And what you're seeing here, a little reminiscent of what we're going to see here seven days from tonight, next Saturday at the Purge. It's going to be chaos all around all night long. Now Mikey B taking control of Tatum Manning as Aaron Eagle gives us a little bit of a hero's pose. Well, Mikey B showing, showing he can do a hero's pose too. That might be better than Caleb Riley. Well, I don't know about that. And now Mikey distracted by what's going on between Wilder and Eagle on the outside. Runs into the clothesline for Manning. we got Manning and Mikey B in the ring. Wilder, Aaron Eagle, they're on the floor. Manning with a cover. Now Manning, that chin lock applied. Eagle still down on the floor. Well, Mikey B trying to get back to his feet. But Manning makes the tag. Here comes Gabe Wilder. And now Wilder and Manning working together. Not the first time Tatum Manning has teamed with the scorn. I wonder if he had any scorny sauce before the match tonight. Well, the last time he did that, that didn't work out too well for him when they teamed together. Maybe he skipped it this time. And Wilder lighting up the Addicts champion. Irish whip, no reversal. Wilder up and over, back on his feet. Forearm shot rocks Mikey B. Well, the chop, the forearm. Unfortunately, that fishnet on Mikey B, it's not much protection from those kind of blows. And a Heyman's neck breaker from Gabe Wilder. And again, only a two count. Wow. Mikey B reaching out, trying to get to Aaron Eagle to make the tag, but Wilder brings the boy band behemoth back up just to send him right back down with another chop. And here the addicts request. Oh, Wilder misses that time. Mikey with a wild swing and a miss. Gabe hey, Wilder connects, and there's another chop. Again, right back to the chest of Mikey B. Mikey brought back to his feet, tries to create some distance. Oh, Eagle with a cheap shot. Super kick from Mikey. The Aaron Eagle. Helping out his partner there, turning the tide for their team. And Eagle reaching out for the tag. He's going to get it. Uh, the hero of the people. Back in and going to work on rugged Gabe Wilder. Well, and getting a little bit of taste of what we're going to see next week at the Purge. Minus the tables. No tables right now. But those will definitely be involved in that tag team title match next week. Eagle kicking that middle rope right between the legs of Wilder. They're using the rope to his advantage. There's Tatum Manning trying to get in. The referee trying to return him to the ring apron as Mikey B to get some shots in on Wilder while he's in the corner. Now my hope is next 
last week in the tables match, there's no time for Aaron Eagle to sing. Why would you not That's want that? Hope. I always enjoy when Aaron Eagle sings. Why would I not want that? Because he yeah. sucks. That's why. I, th I think the, the Purge is a perfect time for him to break out a new song. He's no Enrique Iglesias, let me tell you. And several shots from Wilder. Irish whip, no reversal. Wilder sent in. Huge spine buster from Eagle. Well, maybe we should ask Mikey B's opinion on, on Eagle's vocal talents. Well, maybe he'll take Eagle on tour, though. Maybe Eagle can open up for him. He's, a, he's always looking for new opening acts. You go worldwide. And off comes the elbow pad. Nope, he just turns it around. I mean, he's still going to need it regardless. Looking for the hero, the hero. of the people's elbow. Oh, the no! no. Walter out of the way. Eagle took way too much time. See, it's a good thing he kept the pad. Go ahead. It could have been deadly. Mikey didn't realize that Eagle missed it until right now. And Walter, there's the tag to Manning. Manning in. Ducks the right hand. There's a shot to Mikey. And now Manning firing blows away at the face of Eagle. Potato Manning finally getting his time here in this one. Going to work on Aaron Eagle. Mikey B back up on the apron. And Manning, the one kick, sends him right back down to the floor. And now Eagle into the turnbuckle. buckle. Potato Manning just touring Aaron Eagle all the way around the ring. Uh oh, Mike, here comes Mikey. Grab it onto the foot. And now Eagle grabbing the, the leg of Manning, the back of Manning's head. And his back bouncing off the turnbuckle. It bought Aaron Eagle just enough time. And just depositing Manning face first, center of the ring cover. Eagle making the tag, the boy band behemoth. The Addicts champ Mikey B back in and delivering the kick to the chest. The man he took that Addicts title from here last week in Tatum Manning. As Mikey B just stomping away the entire body of Tatum Manning. And again, if you missed it, last week Mikey regained the Addicts Championship from Manning, give the assist to the other idiots in Mikey B's group. And now Wilder gets drawn in. And Eagle and, and Mikey B put in the boots to Tatum Manning. They're using the referee's distraction for a little double team effort on Tatum Manning there in their own corner. And there was no tag there. It was implied. Well, there goes Wilder. Eagle with a cheap shot to Gabe Wilder and a huge boot to Manning. The big boots all around from the hero of the people. And here comes Aaron Eagle. And double knees. Cover. Now Eagle. There we go. He's going to sing a little bit into the follow away slam. Showing all that power of his. Cover. Mikey B, he just told you he taught Eagle how to sing. Now Mikey back in. Getting these two. They'll be in tag action next week. There'll be a six-man tag. Mike Eel and Pauly and Big J against Manning with his team of Adam Green and Santana Jackson making his debut. Never thought we'd see Santana Jackson in an MPX ring, especially at the Purge. Well, I'm sure Mikey B never expected that either. I mean, that's a real pop star. What are you saying, Mikey B's not? That's exactly what I'm saying. Maybe Mikey can get some pointers, take some notes. Uh, maybe Santana Jackson might be an opening act on the next Mikey B tour. Oh, and Mikey with a 
humiliating slap to Manning. That might have woke him up. Catches the leg, spins him around. Manning with a kick to the side of the head. But now you got Mikey and Manning both down. Both either looking to get back to their feet or to get to their corner and make a tag and bring the fresh man in. Who's going to get to their corner first? Both have been slowly crawling. I think Manning's a little bit closer. Oh, wait, Eagle coming in. Well, Aaron Eagle going to make sure Manning doesn't get closer. Manning pushing him off. Manning kicks Eagle away. Oh, wait a second, wait, wait, who was that? Just ran, what just ran by us? That, Caleb Riley, this idiot! Oh, the sidekick. Attacking Gabe Wilder, that should be a disqualification. What are we doing here, Riley? That's not something run by us like a flash. It was the sidekick. Caleb Riley, here comes Tommy Prince. Finally, we get the bell. Tommy Prince had her coming to the aid of his brother. All hell is broken loose. Meanwhile, back in the ring, Manny and Mikey B going at it. Let's get a shot of the ring. Oh, here goes Big J and Polly P. Three on one to Manning. A little bit more of what we saw last week. Oh, look at this. It's Adam Green. Adam Green in the ring. Well, the Cowabunga kid out here now, too. Mikey B taking him down. Coming to the aid of his partner next week. It's still three on two. As you see Polly B, Big J getting the advantage now. What is... What the hell is that? Stage. Kari Wright just came falling through the curtain with JoJo. JoJo, Kari Wright with a trash can. Where's the refs? Where's security? We got, we got chaos all over the place out here. Now what? What is that? Cavins. That's Kay, what is Cavins doing? Cavins getting Whoa. up, up and over. Cavins taking out everyone. Cavins just appeared out of nowhere. Flew over the top rope into everybody. Now what? Now your demo and Tommy Demo's Becker, they're still fighting. Did anybody ever break them up back there? The two men that will compete in the no-holds barred match for the NBX title next week. But Tommy Becker, Demo Diamond, that Demo ramming the shoulder into Becker in the corner. And Becker and Diamond going at it. And security referees not wanting to get anywhere near this thing. And I gotta say, I can't blame them, but we gotta restore some order. They gotta order security if, if they've all been trying to break up Demo and, and Tommy Becker. We might not have any security left. As you see Mikey B, I think he's, he's done for. He wants no part of... Oh man, he's pulling Mikey back up. There's a JoJo and, and Kari Wright still on the outside of the ring. Oh no! And Brick Savage! Oh no! Who doesn't really have an issue with any of these guys, he just wants to kick some more ass! Uh, Brick doesn't need an issue with anybody. Oh, he just came and picked up Cavins. Savage helping his partner from earlier out. Meanwhile, everyone getting tossed to the outside. Addicts, I implore you, please be with us next week at the Epic and Grand Prairie tickets at mpxwrestling.com. We will see you then for Tyler Foster. I'm Cody Cox. Have a good night, everyone.